100% brand new customers. Like never bought a Mondo Whoa. product ever. That's Whoa. insane. That's you awesome. You know, and so it was uh it was a big day for us to like you know, notice that wow, I guess the demand is there and bigger than we thought it was, bigger than we hoped it could be, frankly. So yeah. uh, we, you know, we we heard everybody. I, I was ignoring most of you, but then when I saw uh, Hatter get sad, I said uh, oh, that hurts. Yeah. I don't like seeing him sad. Yep. And uh, yep. and uh, and so now, so I we went in. We talked about it. We looked at. We crunched the numbers. I was counting on fingers, and as you do, <laughs> and uh, we we figured out that we can uh, upgrade all the orders, domestic orders, to free shipping. Wow. Uh, for the two pack, for the single pack, are all going to be free shipping, and for the rest of the timed edition, all domestic orders we're doing free shipping on these. And same goes for the rest of the line, the future of the line. Holy crap! Right there, you heard it. <laughs> you know what? Sometimes sympathy goes a long way. You make enough sad faces. You heard that? People don't like seeing me sad. All right. It, it's either happy or mad, okay? Happy hat or mad hat. Or that, that, that's how it goes. Um, yes, all right. <laughs> so, free shipping. Free shipping. Free shipping domestic, okay? Um, that, um, here's what I know. For, for some, that's not going to mean anything, okay? They might have just been out anyway. Um, for others, that was a decision maker. Uh, let's face it. You're paying $200 already, Another $31 kind of hurts. You know what I mean? Like you want to like you start rationalizing for a long because I knew for the longest time this thing is going to cost 200. OK, that's a that's a hefty price. But then you get that other extra thing. You're like, ah, no. So, you know, it's uh, it, it, it had to be it's well, no, it didn't have to be done. Um, it I, the, the line is doing well. Um, so if you go to GDL, that's where that video is from where they announced that, uh, Geek Dad Life. Uh, uh, Peter from Mondo came on, who, again, he is not, he's not the head of the beast, okay? He cannot make these decisions, okay? But he can go to the powers that be and he can uh, try to get things done. Um, if you, but if you watch that video, they did mention that the, the sales did really well uh, that first day. I think he said 50% of the sales were like new acquisition customers, which is huge. You always want new customers for something like this, for new customers to come in because then that helps keep these things uh, alive, okay? Old customers are great, new customers, always better, okay? And um, they had, because of that, they had enough wiggle room that, um, you know, they could offer uh, free shipping. Now, can that happen every time? No. Uh, well, it's going to happen for, he mentioned, for the Ghostbusters line. Just in general, can you go to other places and just demand free shipping, get free shipping? No. But I do want to mention that you should always speak up. You should always have your voices uh, heard in, in, a, in a, uh, a respectful way, okay? And that's one uh, where uh, it just collectively i think hit everybody wrong you know what i mean like because i think a lot of us were already planning okay two hundred dollars what this is what it's going to cost but then when we saw like 30 what was it 31 32 whatever it was we're like ah you know what i mean and then um uh because when i made that last video i hadn't even put in my cart and then other people had mentioned what it cost and i pinned one of the comments i was like you should definitely mention it people mentioned it on the forums uh people were very very vocal um, about it. And, um, uh, I, I think that it's, it's like a perfect confluence of vocal about the shipping plus, uh, the line is doing well, or the, the this figure, sorry, the, this, uh, figure is doing well that, um, the powers that be heard it. Okay. Um, he's, uh, th those guys were able to take it up the chain to the, the people that count the money. Cause they don't, nobody likes to give money back. Okay. <laughs> nobody likes to do that, but um, there you go. So again, uh, for some of you, this might mean uh, they were kind of teeter-tottering on the fence. This might mean you go in. Some of you might not go in and that's okay too. Um, so uh, that's great. And I do love that um, feedback matters. And I do love, you know, because if nobody complained, if nobody said anything, they wouldn't just be like, yeah, free shipping. You know, why not? So it does, again, in a respectful way, it does help to have your voices heard, and also that um, there is support for this line, okay? 
the other thing I do want to say, uh, lots of feedback, lots of talk back on that other video, which is what I wanted. I wanted that video. I wanted people to chime in. Uh, most of the comments were great, whether they agreed or disagreed. Um, um, I, I don't know. Well, I don't know if there was anything to agree or disagree about. I, my, the premise of my video that I did was, this hurts, but I want it. Okay, so you can't really disagree with that, you know, like, <laughs> either I want it or I don't. But uh, there was a lot of good opinions just about, well, uh, there was some licensing uh, talk or whatever. Then uh, you always have some knuckleheads that have to make, take like a personal dig, okay? But <laughs> for the most part, I guess that's just, maybe that's the environment I fostered. I, I, have, I have no idea. Um, this is a unique channel. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, I do want to say something that did come up. A few times uh, the comparison to Super 7 and licensing, uh, but uh, the Super 7 of it all, I think people compare Super 7 because aesthetically there are similarities to like what Super 7 um, uh, uh, produces and like a real Ghostbusters um, aesthetic. The problem is with the comparison is Ghost, the real Ghostbusters is its own thing, okay? So until Super 7 makes the real Ghostbusters, you can't compare it. You can't say if Super 7 made it, it would be $55. You don't know that. In fact, somebody had reminded me that Brian Flynn did a, uh, he did one of these interviews and they were talking about like licenses that you would love and this and that or that you want to get. And he had mentioned that Real Ghostbusters is one that a lot of people want, but it's very difficult. And I know why it's very difficult. Licensing plays a big part of it, okay? Um, I have a buddy who's actually... For the longest time, trying to get a license for a toy from... I'm not going to blow up a spot, but it was a popular movie from the 90s, okay? And it's an astronomical... He stopped because it was an astronomical fee. Some places like that, that give licenses say, we'll give you the license, but you have to charge this amount of money. Like, they'll tell you, you have to charge this amount of money. So, until Super 7 releases real Ghostbusters at $55, you cannot say... Well, Super 7 would do, you, you don't know. It's uh, apparently a licensing nightmare and you have to play Hasbro's game since they are the master license holder. And maybe there's somebody else involved in that too, okay? And that also means you can't compare it to other licenses, okay? You can be like, well, how come they do G.I. Joe? G.I. Joe is another license. Maybe they have a different deal. Remember, uh, they do Sunbow G.I. Joe Super 7. Maybe that's a different deal. Maybe maybe the licensing is that every license is different. There are some licenses that nobody even wants to go after. I remember the Jack Nicholson Joker rights for the longest time. Nobody even wanted to touch it. I don't know how it is now, but like it was just so insane that people were like, we'd have to charge an astronomical amount to do it. And so nobody wanted to touch Licensing fucking sucks. Uh, the other thing, just on the Super 7 of it all, is um, when they first announced that Ninja Turtle line, I didn't have a problem with the $55 price point. I mean, yeah, it's high or whatever, but if I like what I saw in the renders and I was willing to pay it, which I was, I mean, I bought those figures. I was in for many, many waves before I dropped out. That means that I agree with their pricing. That means that I saw what they put up and I said, $55. Okay, I'll pay for it. My issue was when it came in, I had Q a lot of QC issues. There were figures that were great. Uh, some of them were top of the year. And then there were figures like that April O'Neil, which was not, I'm sorry, it was not a $55 figure when I got it in hand. So quality in hand does, it, that, that's another thing that you have to consider, okay? If what I pay for, it, it, well, for example, that Punker Don and that um, uh, Gorilla Gorilla, I didn't say anything about the price when I reviewed them. I was just like, these are great. This is back to form, okay? So um, I, I don't have an issue if the thing comes in hand and it's worth uh, the price, but... Uh, uh, you better believe that when uh, this Peter Vegman comes comes in, it's going to be heavily scrutinized. Now, the reason I'm a little more confident is because I've seen Mondo output, and it's usually beautiful. And when it's not, they'll usually replace it. They'll send you like a you know like the Rogue Head, the new Rogue Head I got. I don't know if you, I, yeah, I got, oh, where the fuck is it? I don't know where I put it. That's that's how mixed up I am. But I'll do a review. I think Johnny did one, the replacement Rogue Head. It's beautiful. So. Um, so that's it. It's not an apples or oranges type of thing. Okay. You can't, you can't, A, that's a license that other than the diamond figures that was like from 25 years ago or 20 years ago that they did of the real Ghostbusters, which I don't like. 
Um, and again, I don't know what the licensing was back then. It's just tough to say, here's what this person would charge. And also it's tough to say, hey, keep the same energy when you, when you do this. I do keep the same energy when I, re when I review a Super 7 figure, if I like it. I paid 55 bucks for the Punker Don. It came in. I loved it. And that's it. That's it. That, that's that energy. Now, um, I, I, I don't want this to become a habit. Um, I hate that. Uh, and oh, one more thing. I'm sorry. There's one more thing. I'm not editing this either. Um, the He-Man. So, so Mondo's also doing 112 scale He-Man 2000X figures. Okay. And they had mentioned that those are going to be not as pricey as the Ghostbuster figures. So that should show you right there that there's some other factor that caused those figures to be high. Okay. Because why would, why would He-Man figures, which seem like they'd be more complicated than Ghostbusters figures. You know, Ghostbusters, it's uh, at least the bodies, you know, simple kind of like aesthetic. Why would a He-Man figure be less? It goes to show you that there are licensing rights that you do have to account for. So if you brought the choice to me right now and you said, hey, you could either not have a real Ghostbuster figure or if we do make this, they're going to have to cost $100. I would just say yes, because that's what I want. And that's all I could go by is what I want. So get it if you want. My plan is to... Put them next to like uh, the the TMNT Ninja Turtles by NECA because I think they're going to go great together. And uh, that's it. So free shipping uh, uh, that you get now for uh, for the Ghostbusters. I love it. Okay, it's and again, I'm <laughs> I don't I don't think it's like the kind of thing where it's like every time if there's something and we bitch about it, we're going to get it. But it does feel good sometimes. To you know, have your voices be heard, you guys. Okay, not not me. My voice is is heard automatically because I post it online. But like to 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 really go out there on the forums and everything, and just you know, if there's something, you know, say it. You know, speak up. And um, and again, support the things you want to support because that's the other piece of this. A lot of people apparently came out for Peter Vang. I say apparently because I don't have those numbers. Okay, if, if they want to open their books, have me audit them. That's, I'm open to do that, but until then, that's all. So <laughs> that's all I wanted to say. Uh, just again, part two, Ghostbusters part two, uh, and uh, free shipping, everybody, domestic shipping, and uh, yeah, enjoy, and, and for the rest of the line. Enjoy your Ghostbusters if you're in. Bye-bye.